Hi folks, Dan the Wolfman here. Today's presentation will be on the backpack or messenger bag project. The Elite Survival Systems excellent messenger bag and they also sent me a backpack with the Ruger PC charger. Back off! With the hollow point function test. What a surprise, Karen. You were anti-gun and you got one now because, oh my God, communism didn't work out so good and you're starving. Well, there's my six rounds in Karen's T-Box. And you're ready to rock and roll and make your way. Exit And the reason for possibly doing this, you'll want to watch the unboxing video, but why you might want something like this, a shortish barreled pistol, something as an intermediary device between your regular carry pistol, which you would also be carrying, hopefully, or in the front compartment of this excellent bag, and you're being discreet. For the times when maybe it's... Um, dangerous times and you need something for car defense, home defense, traveling, apartment defense, uh, traveling because of uh, tornadoes or natural disasters, you know, state emergencies, things of that nature, and something small and able to maneuver quickly inside places like vehicles, enclosed spaces, homes, apartments, etc. But with a red dot, it should be allow, allow you to be able to reach out and touch at a much greater distance. As you see behind me, I'm just going through the process of sighting in. I think I'm going to see if I can sight in maybe an inch to two inches high at 15 yards, and I think that will give me pretty good minute of man-ish up close and personal without doing your holdover because this might become a girlfriend's home defense uh, in the future. Um, but also be able to reach out pretty good with a certain amount of bullet drop out to like 75 yards. So you get about two inches, 1.8, two inches drop with nine millimeter at 25 meters, at 25 yards if you sight in at 15, or if you sight in at 25, I'm sorry, at 50 yards, you would get about two inches of drop, but at 100, you get about a foot drop, almost a, a foot drop. So depending on what um, weight grain you use, etc. I'll be using mostly NATO, except up close personal stuff. I'll switch to 115 brass and maybe 115 steel case to see if it functions. But uh, using some hot normal 124 for sighting and purposes because it will most likely be used with 124 plus P critical uh, duty. So you might want something like this for all those times that I mentioned and its maneuverability and the ability to be discreet in a bag that you could take to work, throw in your car. I'm not talking maybe, you know, an everyday type of scenario, but when things are getting frisky. Stay tuned. And if the red dot's high, two inches at 15, I think I can live with that. I'll be out to about 75, I think. All right, first five shots from a Glock 19 mag ran perfectly with 124. And now let's try some uh, mixed 115, most likely some mixed bag of stuff from a P mag. Just trying to get the red dot zeroed in. 15 yards. And I actually don't, I think I'm gonna make it hit two inches high at 15. Hundred and twenty four grain norm off fifteen yards. Been perfect so far, lock back on P mags, everything. Back off. All right, let's see if she runs steel case. Been 100% reliable so far. Let's see if she runs steel case in the uh, Glock 19 mag. Seemed like the P mags wasn't gonna like this really dirty uh, Winchester steel case I got a couple months ago. Get my house! <laughs> and 
And lock back. So it looks like I had one light primer. Laser brass. All right, guys, Ruger PC Charger. Basically, I got it set about two inches high at 15 yards. Every weapon system, even PCCs, are different with much longer barrels. I think this is just a little six-inch barrel. And because the girlfriend might end up using it for home defense at some point, I don't necessarily want her to have to compensate, like, with an AR sight over bore, approximately 1.8 to 2, 2 and a quarter inches. So right now, I think it will be... Pretty on, as you'll see as we go back to 15. We might go all the way back to about 25-ish ballparking. Um, I know where the 15-yard spot is. So we'll just kind of see. I'll be, you know, anywhere in a good kind of upper thoracic to a little high, and then you get bullet drop later on when you get a 50 and farther out. And I think I'd still be minute a man from belly button to upper thoracic a little high all the way out to about 70, 75-ish yards. Okay. Here we go, going hot. All right, so I'm gonna put the red dot right on the red center. All right, about two inches low, okay? So a little bit sight over bore there. Let's go just a little bit farther doing more in case I jerk the trigger. Boom, pretty good center mass shot there. Let's go back. About four more paces. Now we're at seven yards. I'm at seven yards. Good center mass shot there. Let's go back to, I don't know, what am I at? About 11, 12 yards now, about 11 yards. I might have jerked it a little bit. So this trigger I'm still very much getting used to. Safely go over there. Yep, I'm going to back it up a little bit. Okay. Now I'm at about 13 yards. Okay, let's back up two yards that way. I'm going to go to my 15-yard line right here. Tension. Let's go back to like 17 ish. Hopefully, the echo is not too bad. Or like 18 yards. We got forward tension on the single point sling. Hopefully, I didn't jerk that too bad. And let's go back to, I think that's about 25 at the end of this. Right here. I'm gonna see you guys. I might have some flyers. I am drinking the trigger a little bit, sometimes high left, sometimes low right. Alright, let's go look at the target. And um, lock back. Okay. So I got two very, very bad flyers. But you see our first hits, second hit, third hit on, and now it starts to go high. This is probably, yeah, so this is pretty good. This is me at 15 and 17 yards. Unfortunately, I do have two very bad flyers. I'm still very much getting used to this weapon system or firearm. But by having it set at 15, I only want a little low and upper thoracic's better than shooting somebody in the stomach. And if it happened to be, you're not doing holdovers, a 50 or 70 yard shot, I think I'm still very much going to only have that much bullet drop. So if I'm from the throat to like the belly button, I think that's not bad. And even those two flyers, if it was a central man, you see, I mean, not everyone's as wide as me. That's bad. That's bad. But the rest are pretty centered. So uh, uh, even a pistol, not even a full PCC, and with single point sling, it might be the way to go. It might be pretty decent package to maneuver quickly out of vehicles and in a home and things of that nature. 
Day two with the Ruger PC charger, now back at 25 yards. It has been disassembled and clean and just re-verified the site. About two inches high at 15 yards, now back at 25. Hot European ammo, still 124 grain. Let's see if I'm at minute of man. All right. Let's see how we did. So I'm still learning it. I pulled the trigger a bit. That's probably accurate. That's still about two inches high at 25 yards before we're getting bullet drop. I want to be able to reach out pretty well to about 75 yards here, here, and then I must have jerked that one. I'm still getting used to the trigger and the grip and how to pull the trigger straight back. I'm going to do three more rounds at 20 yards this time. I'm really loving the combination of the Ruger PC Charger with this Elite Survival Systems Envoy concealment bag. I think a traveling businessman, woman, that has to go uh, different states and has to spend night in motel rooms that are always seedy and nasty and drugged out people calling the cops all the time, all kinds of things. This would be a very good thing to have. And like we saw hypothetically like two years ago, if you had to be a businessman and all you could have is your micro compact nine on you, you might be able to have this in a work for the way home or if they send you home early because rioting is going on on the streets or things like that. And they also make backpack for get home bags. So let's take three more shots at the half Coke bottle, basically at 20 yards this time. All right, let's see how I did. So results of those three shots from 20 yards one right there, just a little left of center, and approximately two inches high still, this one and this one. So, I mean, that's only a, you know, three-inch spread and about two inches height and deviation. So, at 20 yards, 25 yards, other than this one bad one I pulled, this is kind of a pretty thin Coke, Coke bottle. It can definitely get out and at least, you know, suppress someone at far if you needed to uh, during uh, without rule of law type of times. All right, guys, I got three new targets set up, and we're going to do a hollow point function test. Got a 124 ball in the pipe, uh, three 115 grain JHPs. Those look like old school federal type screwdriver 124 hollow points. These are junky. If it fails on these, it's the ammunition's fault, not the gun. And then three rounds of 124 plus P critical duty. So let's see if it will pass hollow point function test. But again, if it fails this, it's the ammo that's junky, not, uh, not, the, not the charger. All right, Dutch Buffet, hollow point function test time. We got three new targets. We got Evil Danny Glover. We got Karen, that evil, nasty person that was anti-gun. Now Karen's doing bad things. And we got Inconceivable. Let's see how we do with the hollow point function test. A little fast on that last round. I got one more. Let's go Danny Glover. Finish him off. And I pulled that bad. I pulled that real, real, real bad. I'm not happy about that on camera, but it is what it is. All right, Karen got two perfect upper thoracic and one kind of bad in her left arm, upper chest area. But hopefully Karen would stop aiming that block at me. And evil Danny Glover got three center mass here. One just a little bit low. And inconceivable, we got, got all three there as well. One, two, and three, just one a little bit low in that triple tap. So hopefully, I'm, I'm happy. I'm very happy right now that it just functioned with all three different types of hollow points. I'll probably run just a couple more to check uh, for uh, point of impact. And guys, if you haven't noticed yet, yeah, I moved the uh, charging handle from the right side. It comes on to the left side. We got three 124 European and three 124 plus P critical duty. Uh, this is only six and a half inch barrel, so it ain't like a typical PCC with a long barrel. But on longer barrels, you do want harder anatomy bullets like a critical duty or a gold dot in the 124 plus p type of range or 147 and so i really am not a fan of 147 except in longer than this uh pcc's okay so anyway karen what a surprise karen 
What a surprise, Karen. You were anti-gun and you got one now because, oh my God, communism didn't work out so good and you're starving. What a surprise, Karen. Going for Karen's T-Box ugly ass face. Hold it. Just an inch out of that T-Box. And lock back, so perfect function with all kinds of hollow points now. I've got three different types of hollow points and now six critical duty plus P124. Let's go see what I did to Karen. Well, there's my six rounds in Karen's T-Box. One, two, three, four, five are all touching. Dead center between the eyes, just a little bit high, 10 yards, and one in that left eyeball. So the way I got the sights, I think I'm pretty happy with, guys. Uh, maybe for the PC charger. That's up to you. I don't want it too low because you're more likely to need it up close and personal if you do actually need it. But by being two inches high at 15, I'm still pretty good upper thoracic if I do, you know, actual center mass on a man that you see at 30, 40, 50, probably. We we took it out at 25 yards. So take that, Karrion. Oh, my God. Communism and racial divide didn't work out so good. What a surprise. Maybe read a history book, you dumb Imagine, if you will, a world where so many are anti-American and you're a businessman or woman, but it becomes civil unrest times and you still have to go to your job in the inner city. And because of the work environment, all you can have on you is a micro compact nine like a Ruger Max 9 Pro. But you want to be more prepared because of how horrible things are getting. So luckily you have your elite survival Envoy concealment bag. You got your Ruger PC charger and you got a full-size pistol ready to go You're told to leave work early because the fires and the Molotov cocktails and Killing people has started a little early this evening So as you go to leave your office you unzip your front compartment you unzip your back compartment and you have your hand ready to go you open up the door and there, hiding in the bushes 10 yards away, are three bad guys coming to get you. You run to cover. And you reholster. You kneel down behind that car. Get back inside. You put on your headgear, which you really don't have. And you're ready to rock and roll and make your way exit as you're running to your car and keeping them down. That's what this might be good for. Let's check our hits. And after your one firefight, you escape and evade and get home to protect your family. Karen's got six upper thoracic here, two, 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 and one a little high towards the gun, but that's okay. Get rid of that gun of Karen. We got a perfect six upper thoracic here, about mm, five and a half inch spread on evil Danny Glover. And then I got six upper thoracic. Uh, uh, there were seven upper thoracic on Danny Glover, and I got seven here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one bad one over into his arm. But what's important is you managed to make it home. Now, if you don't think this scenario is possible, I guess you haven't been paying uh, attention to what's going on in the world, okay? But above and beyond that, this might be very good, like I said, for a traveling businessman or woman. It might be very good for security personnel that want something that takes Glock mags because they issue Glocks or one of the clones to save money. But they can stay very discreet in this elite survival bag uh, or backpack, which might be deployed in case you ever have an active shooter. But they don't want to be seen with long guns. Civil unrest times. You got your Ruger PC charger, elite survival EDC envoy messenger bag. It's time to go home, get to the family. Things are getting bad.
and there we go. You get home to your family, you save your butt, you do what you gotta do. Fun range toy too, and if I didn't mention earlier, this might really be good for executive protection details, moving in and around vehicles and structures, the small, easily maneuverable, old school, SAS style, single point sling. It can be done. Can you make better hits if you had one of those evil things that start with a B? Yeah, you could. But this is not the most expensive setup and still is great for home, apartment, defense, etc. Ruger PC Charger. Check it out. Thumbs up, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And make sure you go to Ruger's site and go to uh, Elite Survival. And check out all their awesome messenger bags, backpacks for get home and all that. Thanks, everybody. 15 yard, seven or eight upper thoracic. Oh, good. A zone ish, A B upper thoracic. Less than a six and a half inch spread on Karen. 15 yards. You got seven in Evil Danny Glover upper thoracic. And you got, I think, five or six. Looks like five upper thoracic here and one a little high right there. But that's what you can do. And that was with a lot of transitions. So hopefully you guys will like the Ruger PC charger. I really love my Max 9 Pro. Look at that unboxing. We'll probably do a full range review on that. Look at the unboxing of this. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Cheers, everybody. Stay safe.